Welcome back to our men's basketball preview show. After having to sit out a year due to transfer restrictions, Wally Ellenson will be eligible to play this upcoming season alongside his freshman brother, Henry. Now, let's hand it over to our squad in Studio 7 to talk Ellenson's and the freshman class. Fellas? Hello, 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 and welcome back to the breakdown. So guys, the Ellenson tandem is here and in full force and will take over the BMO Harris Bradley Center next month. What do you expect from both Henry and Wally this season? The first thing I expect is Wally Ellison to be a, sl a slasher. He's going to be a guy that's going to go to the rim. He's going to come off screens. He's going to be a mid-range jumper, but he's a rim rocker. Watch him get up. He's a high jumper. He's going to be a guy that's just going to rock the rim, get the crowd on their feet. And for Henry Ellison, he's going to be a rebounder. Outlet passes. He's going to do a lot of great things when it's defensively and offensively. He's just going to be a guy that's going to contribute right away. Guys, we're calling it right now. First player in NCAA history to average a triple-double, 25 points, 13 rebounds, 10 blocks per game. It's going to happen. You watch Henry Ellenson, NCAA Player of the Year. Uh, Henry, obviously very talented. I'm looking at his brother, Wally. We saw it madness. He, there was, the crowd was a little, in a little bit of a lull, not much going on. He comes flying off, off a, a putback, slams it home, crowd goes nuts. It's those types of plays that can ignite a crowd, spark, spark the Marquette offense, and, and, and get the Bradley Center rocking. Got me fired up, that's for sure. Well, we saw how well uh, Henry could play when they were overseas in Italy, playing against a couple of quality professional teams overseas. They blew out most of those teams, but Henry was averaging upwards of 25 points a game when they were playing in Italy. But he's not the only freshman on this team, obviously. There's seven on this Marquette team. So what are other freshmen like Sakara Nim, Hanif Cheatham, and Matt Held going to have on this team this year? I'm looking at Matt Held, Connor. We saw Luke Fisher. He's obviously going to be the, the uh, main man in the middle. But we saw times where uh, he got in foul trouble last season. Comes to mind against Georgetown at home. He fouled out right before overtime. He had big Josh Smith going up against Sandy Cohen down the low post. It's a huge mismatch. It's like a 120-pound difference between those two guys. So with Matt Held, that's seven feet. He can come in, just protect the rim. Even if he's raw offensively, guy can get boards, just, you know, just alter some shots and be that type of guy while Fisher's on the bench. On him is going to be my guy that I'm going to look for. I think he's just a great guy that can do a lot of different damage, whether it's off the screen, whether it's just a jumper that he can nail. He's Minnesota Player of the Year, guy who's known to score. So get him the ball, see what he can do, get him in the open court, and I think that's where he's going to be the most successful. Guys, the only true point guard in this roster is Tracy Carter. And when I was talking to Woja during the presser, I asked him, you know, who has been the most improved player so far to this point today at this press conference? And he said that while the team was in Italy from the time they took off to the time they landed, that was really, he was really the guy who stepped up the most, who improved the most and improved his shot and improved his game overseas in Italy and Europe, playing those European teams. So I think Tracy Carter is my guy to watch this year, being the only true point guard on the roster. I mean, it's a top 10 recruiting class according to ESPN for, for a, a number of reasons. Like you mentioned, Tracy Carter, a big part of that team in, uh, in Rome when they played over there this summer. But all the freshmen should be very highly touted this season for the Marquette Golden Eagles. But that'll wrap up this block for us over here in Studio 7. We'll take it back to Kellen in Studio 6. What's shaking, K-Bud? Thanks a lot, guys. I like that nickname. 